for the tutorial we'll uh, create a simple database driven application um, and then um, do some queries and some operation on that uh, database first of all let's create a new project we'll call the project wad demo as in web application development demo now wavemaker configures the project files and generates an necessary code for the application For the layout, we have um, a layout box where we can um, draw the um, uh, how our page uh, will look. Let's use um, a centered layout first to center the page, and then um, search list detail template, which we'll use to um, to access our um, data. Let's modify the the view so it will be bigger ok now to access a database we have first to create a database server I have a MySQL database installed locally I will enter the username and the password and the database name which is Sakila this is a sample database and can be found on the MySQL, MySQL uh, website connection is successful and we'll import the database WaveMaker is now generated all the files uh, and the Java code necessary to access the database After we generated the, um, the database object, we can see it here in the model. If we expand it, we can see all the tables that are contained in the database. Let's save it. Okay. Now that we have a database service, we need um, to create a live view. Live is an abstraction layer over the, uh, the database we'll uh, create a live view over the um, table actor we can see the fields in the um, actor table if we click the preview button we can see um, as a preview the information in the database let's wait while it uh, refreshes let's change the variable name to live view We can see the data in the database here. Let's go back to Canvas. To be able to use the live view, we need a live variable, which we'll name actor live var. We'll uncheck auto update and start update so because we do not want the content to be updated on the, uh, when the page is loading will put as a um, live source for the live variable the um, actor live view so we'll create the connection with the database here Let's see it. next we'll add the filter for the variable on the first name we'll want any text that uh, is added in the search box to filter the live variable to filter the query of the live variable We'll put the filter to search box data value. Okay. Next, we'll want to perform the search when we push the search button. So, on the on click event of the uh, search button, we'll put the actor live variable. Okay. Cell zero data grid will uh, have as a data set the actor live variable 
we can see the um, the table rows here and for the live form we'll use as a data set the um, selected item in the um, data grid for the um, this necessary to, uh, do operations on the database have generated for the create um, modifications the update and the delete okay let's see it now we can run it and see our application Okay, if we perform a search with a string, we should get all the contents of the database. If we, let's say, search after Nick, we see all uh, the contents. The actor with the first name Nick. Let's create a new actor. can see our uh, new data let's update it if we search again it's Nikki and let's try to delete it and the content was deleted so that's all for the demo